Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do some advanced rebar in Revit. Well, I'm going to be showing you how to do some complex advanced shapes of rebar in Revit. So rebar is not always going to have to be placed in regular like flat elements. Sometimes you're going to have some weird shapes and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do that within Revit and how to use the basic freeform rebar tools that Revit has on offer to shape your rebar. Uh, now I'm going to be showing you on these two examples. The first one is kind of a more example where you have to follow a path and the second one is where you have to follow this warped uh, surface. I think that's uh, really cool and it, I think I, I can explore it in, in two, two different directions. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, well, this is the tutorial for you. Uh, now I, I have some previous tutorials, some of I guess more beginner tutorials on uh, rebar. So I created a playlist and a link to that playlist is going to be linked down in the description of this video and also the first link in the description of this video takes you to my patreon there I have some of my advanced Balkan architect courses I have over 40 hours of content uh, where I go in depth into well uh, numerous advanced uh, Revit uh, topics so if that's something you're interested in check it out also there you can find all of my uh, Revit project files okay uh, now just quickly before we get into the tutorial I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make multiple Revit tutorials each week okay with that for uh, with that out of the way without any further ado let's get into the tutorial now this being a tutorial that's going to be all about rebar we're going to be using an appropriate template for that purposes so here I'm going to go to uh, project templates and I'm going to choose the structural template. I'm going to just click OK. Now you can use the architectural template, just the structural template is going to give you a bit of presets, some loaded elements, things like that, that are just going to make the whole process uh, a lot simpler. Now the first step would be to create the elements that we're going to be adding rebar to and I want to add two types of elements. One is going to be kind of a surface element and the, the, the second one is going to be uh, maybe a bit of a path element. Uh, now this is referring to the way that we're going to be applying rebar so that's going to make sense uh, in a, a bit later. So let me go here to floor to create our surface. Now I'm going to start off with a simple floor like this. Uh, let's move it down to level 1. Let's go into 3D. So here's that floor and uh, just to modify it to make it look a bit more interesting and let me just switch here to hidden line. I'm going to go to uh, modify sub elements and then uh, select this dot, move it up a bit, select this uh, corner, move it up a bit and there we go. So we have a hyperbolic paraboloid uh, shaped uh, floor and this is going to be quite interesting to try to add rebar to a shape that looks like this. Maybe go into shaded. Yeah, there we go. It looks quite cool. Okay, and let's do the second shape. And for the second shape, I, I have to have a uh, a floor as well just to help me out with the shaping. So let me go to a level one. Let's go to floor. And I'm going to start off with a simple arc just like this. Let's give it an offset of 2000 millimeters like that. And let's just close it off with a simple line on each side. Yeah, just like that. Hit finish. There we go. Now I'm going to go into 3D. Okay, so this is currently at level one. So I'm going to go to modify sub elements, select this end part and let's add 3000 millimeters here so it looks like this like a spiral ramp now I don't want to use this as a spiral ramp even though we can but I want to use this to kind of control the uh, top of my wall which is going to be located here so let me go down uh, or let's go to site plan perhaps yeah site plan and then let's go to structure and let's go with a structural wall just use the pick line tool and then set the location line to the finish face exterior pick this line and there we go okay so once we have this I'm just going to adjust it a little bit maybe like that go into 3d this is what we have now currently it's uh, going down and I want to change that base offset so I'm just going to change that to uh, zero and the top constraint change that to level two there we go now it looks like this and now we just wanted this to attach to the bottom of this uh, spiral so just go attach top base 
select this and there we go. Now we can select the spiral and then just make it disappear by going here to hide in the view and hiding that element. Now we have these two quite complex shapes. We have this Oops, so let's bring it back. We have this uh, quite weird wall that has this weird uh, top edge and it's spiraling or it's going in an arc and it has a weird top edge and here we have this shape that's even weirder than that. Okay, so now let's see how can we add rebar to these two shapes. Now the first step is going to be to go back into wireframe just so we can see inside of this geometry and then let's start off with the wall. Now uh, I'm going to go here to the Structure tab, then go to Reinforcement, and let's click on Rebar. Uh, it's going to give us a pop-up, and let's just click OK here, and there we go. Okay, so I'm going to choose the Freeform Rebar, so instead of going Sketch Rebar, go to Freeform, and here you have two options. You can either go by Surface or Aligned. Now for the, for the wall, we're going to go with the Aligned, and then for this one, we're going to go with Surface. Okay, so when you check aligned, first uh, you have to go here and then uh, select either the path or uh, the surfaces. So these are the surfaces that are going to determine the shape of your uh, of your rebar, and then you select the path of that rebar. So for shape, I'm going to select the uh, outer surface here, uh, this start surface here, or the bottom surface. Uh, here and then let's select this surface here as well as well as the top surface so uh, you just uh, uh, continue clicking and you add those four now once we have that we can go here to sketch path as you can see we cannot finish this yet we have to sketch out the path and for path I'm just going to choose this bottom uh, path here this bottom line now finally we have the option to finish but I don't want to finish I want to change the layout so here we have the layout currently it's set to single I don't want a single, I want a maximum spacing uh, layout and let's go with the maximum spacing of maybe 400 millimeters and then let's hit finish. And there we go. So now as you can see we have these rebar shapes that are just following along, uh, uh, following along uh, our path. So we can yeah, so I think this is finished. Yeah, now we can select this thing and then uh, we can maybe adjust it if necessary. Here you can change the thickness of rebar. And yeah, so you have some options as far as rebar. But uh, there you go, that's how you create uh, this uh, this shape. And you can, of course, change the rebar set or the layout, uh, perhaps if you want to make it smaller, maybe go down to maximum spacing of 300. And now, as you can see, we have multiple shapes. And there we go. Now you can always edit constraints. So if I go here to edit constraints, I can perhaps remove this top edge. And now as you can see, we get uh, open shape over here on top. If I remove this uh, edge over here, let's see. And now as you can see, it's kind of an L shaped. So you can just add or remove uh, any shapes if necessary. Now let me hit just finish. Now to see this rebar a bit better, I'm just going to select it and then go here in the properties, move down to, uh, let's see, uh, go down to graphics. We have a view and visibility states. And here let's just change this and turn on 3D view as solid, click OK. Now this one is set to fine. There we go. Now as you can see, this rebar is uh, viewed as solid and it looks a lot cooler. So there we go. That's how we add a rebar into shapes like this. Now let's see how do we do it to surfaces. So for a surface like this, you would go to rebar again. But now let's go to freeform. But instead of aligned, let's go with surface. Now here you have to choose the uh, surface that it's going to be following. In that case, <coughs> or in this case, that's going to be this top surface, but we also need to uh, select the start uh, surface and end surface. So let's go here or yeah, let's first select the shape. Yeah, first select the shape, then you go into uh, structure, then you go into rebar. There we go. Now let's go to surface and then let's see, can we make the selection here? Okay, I guess this floor isn't structural. Yeah, we have to check structural. There we go. Now we can add rebar. So yeah, that's that's something I forgot, I guess. So uh, the floor, your floor has to be structural. You go to rebar 
and then we go again to distribution type we go with surface and then uh, let's go first here and see what Revit is asking us so as you can see currently it's asking us to select a host surface to so to select a host surface go with the top one so I'm just going to hover near the edge maybe hit the tab key a couple of times till we get this big uh, kind of host surface so once this is selected go ahead here and go to next you select and now it wants the start surface in this case that's going to be this surface and then the end surface now it uh, go next to end surface and now let's select this one and then let's go with finish now I'm just going to hit uh, the escape key and now let's zoom in and here we have just one piece of rebar but if we change the layout to maybe maximum spacing and let's go with 200 uh, millimeters there we go so now we have rebar going inside of this shape now we can of course go here and change those graphics once again so let's go to graphics and let's change that to be viewed as solid click ok there we go so, and let's zoom in there we go so we have our rebar inside of this now of course you can make changes to this uh, rebar or at least to positioning just by when selecting it you can go into edit constraints and now as you can see you have these constraints so over here on the edges you can add a number so that's basically an offset so if you go here and give it a 30 millimeter offset as you can see now it just goes off to the side or goes out for 30 millimeters also here you have uh, an option to give it an offset here uh, on this side so let's go here to 30 millimeters and now as you can see it, it, it moves down by the value of 30 millimeters same thing can be achieved here for the whole surface so let's go to 50 and now the whole thing went up I think 50 millimeters so you can play around with these constraints on the sides and I'm just going to cancel out of that just so I don't mess anything up but you get point same thing goes here for this one if you select it you can go and edit constraints and then you can play around with these constraints here so you can play around with this one give it an offset of I don't know 20 millimeters and now it moves out 20 millimeters let's go back and you can also make similar constraints here so you can move this up by the value of 50 and then it should be moved a bit let's see minus 50 okay this doesn't seem to move okay this one doesn't want to move but you get the point you can play around with these constraints and then make some adjustments let's try here by the value of 50 yeah it kind of moved it off to the side so you get the point you can play around with these constraints and then change uh, even further the shape of this rebar and how it uh, goes along with this shape now it's kind of exiting out so we should probably go back into zero there we go looks much better so there we go that's how you create these complex rebar shapes now those are the basic tools of course you can go in depth and add way more rebar you can use this surface rebar to add some rebar here off on the side things like that so that's the approach for creating uh, complex rebar shapes in Revit okay so if you want to download these project files uh, if that's something you're interested in check out my patreon first link in the description also there you can get access to all of my advanced Balkan architect courses I've got over 30 uh, nine hours of content over there and I'm adding an extra hour each week okay so that's pretty much it thank you for watching please like and share this video make sure to subscribe and I'll be back with another tutorial in a couple of days have a nice day